Because in tomorrow's to... daily... Uh, sorry, Nicholas, I just want to move on to this story because the Daily Telegraph is going to have a big exclusive uh, report tomorrow with Anthony Albanese. Joe Hildebrand's uh, interviewed Anthony and the opposition leader has pledged to make Labor a party for the mainstream. He said he's not going to be pandering to the woke left. He's also pledged to be a friend of business and aspirational Australians. Do we buy any of this, Bronwyn? I, I will come no. to you, Nicholas, but firstly, Bronwyn... <laughs> no, we do not buy any of this. This is Joe, who's a mate of, of Albo's, having a nice little chat. But you cannot take any of it as being truthful. Mr Albanese is the leader of the socialist left. He has been grounded in that philosophy all his life. He's not about to turn around and say, all that I've believed in all my life, I'm going to jettison and it's got, not going to have anything to do with how I govern should I be elected. The fact of the matter is he'll, he cannot be elected without getting preferences, at least from the Greens. He will need the Greens in the uh, Senate to get anything through. And to try and say that he's going to spurn them and uh, try and be some sort of centre-right party when he comes out of the socialist left is just incomprehensible. And I just don't think people are going to fall for that. It's nice for Joe to have a chat but... and to write nice things about him. They've been mates for years. So how is that uh, an incisive um, uh, estimate of the sort of policies that are likely to be there? He's been the small target, there are no policies, and the first time he's challenged and has to stand up and be answerable is over the death of Senator Kimberly Kitching. The first time, and what does he do? He runs and hides and then has a chat with a mate. No, that is not standing up and showing leadership. Nicholas. So, yeah, there's a long, Nic long way to go Nicholas. to show that.